He's dealing 41 damage. He does just circle around a bit and attacks. Okay, now we're going to take things into our own hand because we've got a raptor and things aren't going, <laughs> things aren't going our way. World. What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is CJ, the Cheese DJ here, and we are back with another top six list. And today we're taking a look at top six shoulder mounted dinos. So kicking off this list at number six, going in a particular order here, is the butt ugly Pigomastix. Look at his ugly little face. So this guy is number six on this list due to him being a huge pain in the butt for survivors all on arc for stealing their items. So this guy pretty much steals your item in the final inventory slot of your hopper. You can see down the bottom there, if I hit L1 and right that, that, that little bit there, they steal items from there. Now, the reason this guy's number six is because he's really useful. You can use him, obviously, in PvP to steal items off enemy players. And, you know, that takes it out of their hotbars, which is really useful, and then brings it back to you. So you have a chance of getting better equipment. Plus, if you happen to be in a fight with other players, you can throw this guy out at them. And, you know, he can run off and steal their stuff. Now, as well as that, he can also gather berries if you launch him at a bush. Here we go. You can gather seeds, sorry, not berries. So if we come into his inventory, you can see there he's got a whole heap of seeds on him and berries, and he's just picking our way at him. Now, this guy is also really easy to tame. All you need is major berries, that's it. So all you've got to do is stick major berries in 20 stacks in your last inventory slot, and this guy will run up to you, pickpocket them off you, and that will actually tame him up. Now, it will take a bit of time, obviously, um, with intervals of about 25 seconds in between each attack. However, you can build a little one-by-one -one box around him to help prevent him from running away and getting away. But you're going to want to make sure you do it in stacks of 20. Otherwise, if you do it in stacks of 100, he will take all your major berries. Now, as well as that, if you come into his little options setting, he actually has quite a lot of different behaviors that you can use for pickpocketing. So you can see here, he's got regular pickpocketing and you can actually change it. So at the moment he's set to regular pickpocketing, you can turn it off completely, which I wouldn't recommend, and you can actually do fast pickpocketing. So fast pickpocketing pretty much gets him in and out of there as quick as possible. At number five on this list is the Vulture. Now these guys are exclusive to Scorched Earth. However, you can find them on Ragnarok as well and these guys are really useful so pretty much what these guys do is they sit on your shoulder you know you can use them as a bodyguard they'll actually attack players or dinos that come too close to you so we're gonna we're gonna test it out on we're gonna not gonna attack the patchy because that thing will absolutely wreck our face so he actually attacks dinos that attack you and are close enough for him to hit so you can actually level him up in melee damage and he will damage anything that is close enough to you and damage them, which is really useful. So if we come up to this Dillo here, we're going to target third person. There we go. You can see here, the Vulture is actually attacking the Dillo. He's in our melee range and the, the Vulture has actually killed him. Now, as well as this, the Vulture is capable of gathering prime meat off dinos that you wouldn't expect it, such as the Dodo and other small based creatures. Now, we don't have any Dodos in our site at the moment to show you and demonstrate. However, as well as this, he's also really good at preserving meat in his inventory. Prime meats last three times as long in this guy's inventory, which is really useful. You can see here we've got a dead dodo in front of us, and what the vulture will actually do as well, he'll also gather the meat. You can see there the actual vulture just gathered the meat off our dead dodo that was once belonging to us. And he only gathers regular meat off him, but he does have a chance to gather prime meat off these dodos. Now, I did mention it was three times, it's actually four times the spoil rate. You can see there, it's two and a half hours before this meat will actually spoil. So these guys are really useful for that, and you know, just keeping and preserving your meat. Now, as well as that, taming them is relatively easy. All you need is spoiled meat in your last inventory slot, and they are a passive tame. You do have to watch out that there aren't any, obviously, enemy dinos, carnivals around you, and corpses. They will get very aggressive if there are corpses around you. That's why this guy is number five on the list. Number four is the Jaboa. Now, this cute little guy is pretty much on this list for his cuteness. He doesn't really serve too much of a purpose outside of the Scorched Earth map due to him being able to warn you when storms are coming. But he's really cute, and you can use him as a portable backpack. That's the main reason this guy is on this list. I didn't mention this already, but this list is based off my opinions. So don't forget to take that into mind. You can also use him as a portable backpack. 
obviously reducing your weight on your inventory by a little, not a lot, by a little bit. However, you know, he's got 68, so he does transfer 50% of that weight onto himself. So whatever, obviously whatever you've got on him, say you've got 30 weight on this guy, 15 of it will disappear from you, which is really useful in terms of signing out on Ark. And all you need to tame this guy is a bunch of Mejo Berries, to, and all you've got to do is punch him to knock him out. We're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're not going to punch this guy anymore. He's too cute to punch anymore. But yeah, that's all the Jaboa is really good for. Other than that, you can pretty much use him as a distraction for carnivores that are coming up to you and trying to eat you. But that's why this guy is number four on this list. Number three on the list is the adorable Mesopithecus as well. Much like the Jaboa, this guy is on this list for cuteness, but this guy also has a lot of utility as a shoulder mount. Now, in terms of taming this guy, you're gonna wanna be very careful when taming him. He is quite difficult if you startle him, he will run, and it's very hard to lose these guys as they're really small and you can lose them really easily, obviously, in the jungles. Now, what you're gonna wanna do when trying to tame these guys is you're gonna wanna obviously come up to them slowly either crouching or prone, and you're going to want to try to avoid touching them. Touching them is what startles them. You can also use ghillie armor as well to help reduce the risk of this guy noticing you as much. Now his preferred taming thing is obviously kibble with dodo eggs. Next up is then vegetables and mejo berries. So you can still tame one of these guys up with mejo berries. It will take a little bit longer than it would though if you were to not use kibble. Alrighty, so the many uses of the Mesopithecus. This guy is actually really useful as he lobs poo at your enemies. So that's right, you heard me correctly. If he gets into a fight or you get into a fight, for example, he will throw poo at your enemies. Now, this can be really useful as it is able to slow them down and stun them. And you know, you can also use it while riding on another dino. If you say are on an Iguanodon or a Parasaur or something like that, he'll actually throw poo at them while you're riding on the dino, which can be really useful. Now, we're trying to get him to attack uh, this Overraptor down here. It's not really working out too well for us, but like I said, he is able to throw. It's only small feces, so it's not anything amazing, but he is really useful for that in those regards. Now, another thing that he is really useful for is that if you throw him inside of a base, he is able to unlock thatch and wooden doors. All you've got to do is whistle attack this target and you'll actually unlock it for you, allowing you entry into the base. However, that's only if you're able to get him into the base. So if you've destroyed a ceiling or anything like that, you can use him. And once again, much like the Jaboa, this guy is a portable backpack. He reduces the weight of half when put on your shoulder, which is once again really useful if you're running out of weight and room in your inventory. Now, another unique thing about this little fella is that he's actually able to warn you about danger. Now I've constantly and done many tests on this guy and I still haven't figured out how he exactly warns you about danger. I've tried raptors attacking me with him on my shoulder. I've tried a whole handful of stuff and it doesn't seem to work very well in that regard. So we're going to show you the poo throw. There you go. You can see that he's throwing the poo at the Pteranodon. He's thrown it once and you can see the actual Pteranodon is uh, slowed down. Okay, now we've got the rest of our little dinos on him. <laughs> that's, uh, that's dangerous. So yeah, that's why the Mesopithecus is number three on this list. Number two on the list is the Microraptor. Now this guy is really, really useful for PvP. I can't explain enough how good this guy is for PvP. So this guy's main ability is to knock off players off their mounts, regardless of what they're riding. Now these guys start off with pretty good base stats and they're really easy to tame if you know how to tame them. So what you're gonna wanna do to tame these guys up is you're definitely gonna wanna bowl them because they will knock you off your own mount if you're not careful. And if your dino is set to neutral, he will kill it. Now, once you've bowled these guys out, all you've got to do is knock them out and feed them a single rare flower. A single rare flower will tame them straight up, regardless of their level. I'm not even joking. A single rare flower will tame any of these guys up at any level in a really fast time. If you don't have rare flowers, go for rare mushrooms, which are not as good as rare flowers. However, they still will tame them up relatively well and faster than using, say, uh, prime meat and all that sort of stuff. So these guys like obviously uh, shoulder mounts and they knock players off their mounts and they actually stun them. I think it's for nine seconds they actually stun the player that's fallen off their mount. Now as well as this, these guys are actually the fastest land dino. They actually are able to outrun the Gallimimus which is incredible considering how tiny and petite their little legs are. 
Now you can keep a few of these guys around in your base as well as backup protection to attack any PVPs that are planning on trying to raid you and these guys can actually jump up and knock players off. However, you do need to be careful that they do struggle to knock players off, Rexes and Spiners and all those tall dinos as um, you actually have to throw them up in the air and then actually whistle to attack the target. So bearing that in mind if you plan on going up against something like that. Lucky number one is none other than the Dimorphodon. These guys are crazy good and crazy powerful. A pack of five of these are e easily able to decimate Rexes in a matter of 30 seconds, if that. These guys are really powerful. Their health is also relatively decent. You can see that's 275. But what you're going to want to do is pump these guys up in melee damage and health. You get a pack of these guys, and I'm telling you now, you'll be able to take out the majority of the things on Ark. Granted, probably not a Giga. You might have a bit of a trouble taking on a Giga with a pack of these guys. But these guys are really incredibly powerful. You can see here, we're gonna, we're gonna test out on this Fiomia. I think the rest of our dinos are gonna attack. So we're gonna come over here, find something smaller and further away to kill. And like I said, these guys are really fast. They do circle their prey and they actually attack the body. So things like Rexes, Spinos have trouble hitting them. They still can hit them and obviously kill them, but they have quite a bit of trouble. Now you can definitely use these guys as base defense and they look really cool sitting on your shoulder like that. Like look at this little guy. Granted he's like kind of sitting on mid-air with his front four limbs. That's nothing to be bad, bad sad about. Alright, so we've got a Dillo here. We're gonna try and launch this guy at him. Well I think we've just accidentally selected the Mega Neuro, unfortunately. There we go. Okay, so we're trying to get this. We're, it's, it's harder than it looks on console. Alright, there we go. We've launched our Dimorphodon and he's doing nothing. So we're going to get him to come after this Dimorphodon here, sorry, Dillo, you can see there, he's dealing 41 damage, he does just circle around a bit and attacks. Okay, now we're going to take things into our own hand because we've got a Raptor and things aren't going, <laughs> things aren't going our way. Okay, so we'll probably wrap up the video here guys, you can see the Dillo, Dimorphodon did manage to get some hits in on the Raptor at doing about 61 damage to him. So. Like I said, you get a high level pack of those guys and you'll be able to take out the majority of the creatures on Ark in a matter of seconds. But that'll be it for today guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the list, let me know what you would change about it. But other than that guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.